brush tool to about 30 percent and if I start painting on the layer mask as you can see I can actually uh, start affecting the areas of the layer mask in a gradual fashion so you have this this is why layer masks can give you a great control over images over editing over the editing process okay let's go back and again uh, with 100% opacity I'm going to get rid of the black parts on the layer mask so that it's completely white let's just say and uh, and I can use other tools uh, than the brush tool to affect the layer mask for instance I can use the gradient tool here a black and white gradient is selected I will select the linear gradient and while the layer mask is selected if I draw, draw uh, draw a gradient just like that you can see I'm now only affecting half of the layer uh, I have painted half of the layer mask black and the other uh, half white so that I can reveal let me do it again so that I can reveal so what, what layer mask is doing is this portion the right portion of the image of the layer is showing through so what we are seeing on this part of the image is not the top layer anymore but we are seeing the bottom layer and how I can demonst demonstrate this to you is that if I go ahead and select the bottom layer and if I go to again say the levels adjustments okay now remember we're affecting the bottom layer now we're not doing anything on the top layer and if I just make this layer brighter as you can see the effect is showing through because we have effectively masked the top layer so let's go ahead and cancel that. So as you can see, uh, you can see why the layer mask gives you uh, extreme, extremely power. Is uh, layer mask an extremely powerful tool? It gives you a great flexibility because whatever effect uh, you have just revealed, you can always go back and let's say if you go back to white and just with our brush tool again paint over we can go back to our original layer so let's say that um, instead of for instance if I make this top layer invisible and select the bottom layer and let's just say that I was uh, trying to turn the right side of this image into black and white I mean one way of doing it say is by selecting the rectangular marquee and I make a selection and then now I can go into image adjustments and to hue and saturation and desaturate this portion and if I click OK I have desaturated the right side of the image yes but now the entire layer have changed and now I can't I have very limited ability to be able to go back one is to be able to use my history brush and I don't have very much flexibility uh, affecting this uh, uh, by changing this effect that I've just created but by using the layer masks just like uh, we have shown if I activate the top layer again and go to the layer mask I can just effectively paint over the layer mask and just in a non-distractive fashion create the same effect with greater flexibility with greater control and uh, this way uh, this provides me with several things one of them is flexibility the other one is the non-destructive destructive nature of the layer mask because I can always go back and change the layer mask and if I go here and right click on the layer that we had the layer mask on and if I click on disable layer mask I can completely disable it and uh, I can uh, I can go on editing my image normal and if I click on the layer, right click on the layer mask, I can actually completely delete it and start over again. And um, I hope that this uh, clears up some of the questions you may have had, or, uh, or, or those of you that who were wondering how to use the layers and layer masks. This, uh, I hope this was um, helpful.